The Maricopa County Elections Department says if you use a Sharpie like this one and fill out your ballot correctly, it should count even if it bleeds through. Was my ballot or my wife's ballot actually counted? So. A lingering question for Eric Fletcher of Gilbert after he was given a Sharpie by poll workers when he voted in person. I filled out my front side of my ballot with the Sharpie and when I turned it over, it had bled through so badly that I was a little bit concerned. After a poll worker assured him it was fine, he put his ballot, ballot in the tabulator fine, himself. But my wife, who had the same issue and the same problem, had multiple times of having to put her ballot through before it took the ballot. The use of Sharpies drawing concerns statewide. The Arizona Attorney General's office now investigating after it got hundreds of complaints. They're asking election leaders to provide information on whether any ballots were rejected because of Sharpie ink bleeding through. Well, those Sharpies are the ones that we provided at vote centers because they're the fastest drying ink. Erica and Flores with the Maricopa County Elections Department says they tested Sharpies, even put out videos ahead of the election saying they're safe to use. We have new tabulation equipment that only reads the ovals. She adds the ovals on the back don't line up with the ovals on the front. In other words, even with that bleed through, it's not filling in any other oval on the other side. Some of the Sharpie voters we heard from also concerned because the status of their mail-in ballot says canceled. Secretary of State Katie Hobbs explains on Twitter that it could say that if you requested a mail-in ballot but wound up voting in person, canceling out your mail-in ballot. The Elections Department says you can only check the status of early or mail-in ballots online, not in-person voting. So anything that comes up saying canceled is not related to an in-person vote. The Elections Department says it's common for the AG's office to review their processes and ensure they're following the law. It says it's preparing a response that maintains Sharpies are safe to use. We're in Phoenix, Erica Stapleton, 12 News.